What's up everybody, Swarski here, gonna go over our first part of our Unit 4 test. Uh, make sure at any point that if you need to during this video, you pause or you rewind, ask questions, let me know if anything's not clear, um, and we can go from there. But you will see on your, uh, on your class kick that you'll see a couple things. You're gonna see um, possibly if there was anything big, I made a little note. Otherwise, you know if something was a miss and wrong if it is highlighted. That means that during this video when you get to it, that means that you get extra focus and you really listen in to see what went wrong and what you need to do to fix it. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into solving this first part. So BAM is our first triangle. Now we need to uh, tell the theorem. We have this middle part, this shared side here, which tells us then that we have a side angle side congruency. Okay, um, the second part, which a lot of people made some mistakes on here, is how we name it. Now, if I start with B, and I go to A, which is across the hypotenuse, and then to M, that means I have to do the same thing. I start at J, but I don't go to A. For some reason, put people, a lot of people put J-A-M. I think maybe because it spelled a word, just sounded nice. Um, but since I'm going across the hypotenuse, I need to go this way, which means it's actually J-M-A. So that should be our first one. So that was the first big mistake I saw. A lot of people um, made it J-A-M. Okay. Next one, I hope was pretty intuitive. We had a shared side right here. That's the third piece, which means we have a side, side, side congruency. Okay. And then um, if we did W-R-V, that should mean that we have W-T-V. Again, that one was pretty intuitive for everybody. We didn't have a lot of mistakes with that one. Okay, that was the first one there. Next one, I think this was a this was probably the biggest mistake were with these two pieces here because I think first of all, people made the assumption that this was saying that they were congruent, when in all actuality this represents parallel. Okay, too many people uh, I think made the incorrect. Uh, connection that that meant congruency. Remember the arrows represent uh, parallel, the ticks like this up here represent congruency. Okay, so we have two parallels. Uh, we have a set of shared sides right here. So we know this is the same. And then because we have two sets of parallels, we have alternate interiors uh, times two. We have these ones and these ones. Okay, the other thing I saw that people were making mistakes on is that they wanted to keep saying, there's a lot of number of people that said these were congruent. And I just don't have a transversal that gives me an alternate interior. And remember what I mean transversal, the parallels here, parallels here, the transversal cuts and creates those uh, alternate interiors like this one and this one. If you see the parallel and the transversal make the, the angles that we're talking about. Okay, so that becomes a side angle side, or sorry, other way around, angle side angle congruency. Okay, and then the other one is the, we had a little bit of a trouble uh, naming this. Uh, and naming this would have been if we had uh, TUV, because we start at T and we go across the second set of parallels and then to the first set. Okay, that means we have to start at V. A lot of people put started at T again. So I start at V going across the second set of parallels and then over to the first set of parallels. So that would mean that this is V, S, T, V, S, T. Okay, those were the biggest, that was the biggest uh, mistake there. Okay, the next ones, um, a lot of assumptions with what this was because people saw this, a lot of people put uh, incorrectly, they said, well, this is SSA, so I have uh, a set of non-congruent uh, triangles. But the thing you have to pay attention to is those aren't the triangles we're even talking about at this point. We are talking about B, oof, A, E, which is this big one, and then also, uh, let me change my color, B, then that would mean we're talking about this triangle, okay? So then naming that triangle would mean if I go BAE, that means I would have to go BCD there, okay? And the reason why we have 
this set of pair, this set of congruent angles. We have this whole thing, right, is made up of the same two parts. So that sides with angle side, and then this shared angle here. Okay, which would mean it would be. Oh, let's see, angle, angle, side for that, okay? Each one's worth a half point, which is why you're going to see this is out of four points, okay? So if you got anything wrong, any, any of the blanks wrong, that's a half point each. Uh, make your corrections. Make sure also the biggest chunk to this is reflect. <laughs> Please, that's how you are getting your points back especially and we're going to have a retake option for this so you get full points back so I can really see that you understand what's going on so that would be the next step for you on this otherwise uh, that's it for this chunk um, if you got anything wrong on the proofs then you'll be moving to that video otherwise I will see you later